17 hostages were released by Hamas today, and that includes four-year-old Abigail Idan, who becomes the first American to be freed from captivity since the start of this particular four-day agreement to pause the fighting. Joining me now, NBC's Raf Sanchez from Tel Aviv. Raf, welcome back. So we understand that the great aunt and cousin of Abigail, they have uh, released a statement about her release. What have we heard? Yeah, Alex, this is the first time we are hearing from Abigail Moore Idan's family since she was freed from Gaza a couple of hours ago. As you mentioned, this statement is from her great aunt and her cousin, and I want to read you just a little bit of it. They say, we hoped and prayed today would come. There are no words to express our relief and gratitude that Abigail is safe and coming home. They go on to thank President Biden and his dedicated team, as well as the government of Qatar, and what they say were other informal actors involved in securing Abigail's release. And they say, today's release proves that it's possible. We can get all the hostages back home. We have to keep pushing. And that is a message, Alex, that we have heard pretty consistently from the families who have got their loved ones out of Gaza so far during this three-day ceasefire, that they are overjoyed that their own loved ones are home.